Hey Water Signs, welcome to Earth Spell. I'm Kat and I'm Matt. And I'm going to give you a reading. So this is for um, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Okay, um, yeah, I've been gone for a while, so if you guys would please hit the like, share, and subscribe. That will really help me get back into the algorithm here. Um, yeah, it's been a long few months. A lot of things have happened. A lot of transformation for me and for the people that I love and that um, are around me. Um, a lot of uh, soul searching and uh, for myself and um, a lot of transitions, okay? A lot of uh, deaths and rebirths, so to speak. So, um, yeah, it's been a very challenging year for me, but um, that's okay. That's how we grow and that's how we learn. Um, so, let's see. What do we have for the water signs? Holy Spirit, Archangels, Angel Guides, Ancestors of the Highest Light Light. Ascended Masters, what do we have for the water signs? Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. We get an overall energy for you guys. Um, the readings that I have um, been doing, so be sure to check out your sun, moon, rising, um, or your other elements here. Um, that, that could be beneficial for you. So, overall energies we have. Using your skills, creative power, okay, personal efforts, right? And then moving, travel, um, leaving something behind. Okay, so some of you guys um, could be leaving something behind. Okay, it could be, um, you know, a person, place, of thing or thing. It could be um, something within yourself, a way of thinking. Okay, um, just moving forward. And it almost looks like in this this boat here, it's like. Um, your father and spirit, right? And the sun is happiness, illumination here on how to move. And also, yeah, it could be within career or within yourself, okay, because you guys at this time could find yourself using your skills, okay, being creative and actually putting in the effort, okay? Could be, you know, putting in the effort to, uh, you know, freshen up your skills, learn a new skill. Just really using that creative power that we have. And, uh, yeah, moving forward and travel something um, could uh, cause you to move forward, okay, and to leave something behind. So, yeah, it just kind of follows spirit here. This could have a lot to do with your soul purpose, even. Okay, so anything else for the water sign spirit? So we have clock. So need time, takes time, end time, cycles, time to heal, and progress. So <laughs> it's a lot about time. So in time, okay, something needs time. It, you know, it takes time. Um takes time, in time, cycles. So I feel like some of you guys are, y'all finished a cycle here, okay? And it could have something to do with, um, you know, healing or progress, okay? You're using, you're being creative, you're using your skills, your personal efforts here, um, and it's time to heal. And, you know, you guys could just be focusing on your heal or having, on healing and, um, you know, having progress in that and just knowing that it takes time, okay? Um, it takes time to to leave something, a person, place, or thing behind um, to, you know, focus on your healing here. But that's what it's saying. It's time to, you know, focus on your, your healing. And things come in cycles. And then we have at the bottom of the deck, we have, you know, healthy choices. So making healthy choices in love or in life, 
Okay, self-love, self-care, and being happier. So yeah, something has gotten y'all to, um, something here has definitely opened your eyes on what it is that you need to do in, in moving forward. I'm definitely seeing moving forward. Um, you know, your skills could cause for you or your creative um, endeavors could cause you to have to relocate or, you know, travel for your career or what have you. Um, but yeah, so I'm saying the, the need to take the time though, you need to take some time to heal, to focus on yourself, okay, and make healthy choices where you are at this time making healthy choices. So Spirit, what do we have for the water signs? And this is in love and this is in life. So it's actually really beautiful. Taking the time and having progress and healing, right? And just moving forward. Past. What's the present in the water signs? Future. Okay. The bottom of the deck, we have the Ace of Swords. So the Ace of Swords is truth, is victory, is um, having a breakthrough. You know, cutting things out that no longer serve you, right? So, in the past, you have the Eight of Swords. So, this is like being mentally stuck, okay, in a thought. This is a, a thought pattern, even. This is something playing over and over and over and over and over in your head. And you're just really, you know, trapped by it, okay? This is mental. This is, um, you're not really trapped. This is... This is all by you doing this. Um, and so that's in the past. Just something replaying over and over again. And, um, you know, kind of feeling stuck to the situation or whatever happened. So that's what we have for that. In the present, we have the Five of Pentacles. So this is lack, loss, abandonment. Um, feeling left out in the cold. Um... Like you don't have enough, okay? It could be you feel as though you don't have enough finances, um, that someone, you know, could have left you out. Or this is someone feeling this way about you, water signs. But um, in the present moment, you just feel like you are, you know, I'm here neglected in a way or abandoned. Um, but just like a lack. There's something missing here. There's something missing. But in the future, we have the Knight of Wands. So this is forward movement. This is definitely forward move it, movement into the future. So that's with, you know, passion and optimism and, um, you know, just really going after what it is that you want. So that's in the future. So let's see in the near future. So let's see, what is the Eight of Swords? What were you in your head about water signs? Definitely something I'm getting that you needed to heal from, right? So what is the Ace of Swords? Yeah, the Ace of Wands. So in the in the past, you were in your head about a new beginning when it came to passion. When it came to uh, this is a new beginning in passion. Okay. Yeah, you wanted things to go in your favor with an, you know, an equal give and take. Uh, someone definitely feeling lack, loss, and abandonment here. Um, someone, you know, very hard that, you know, this was, it, it could have involved um, another person influencing, you know, whatever the situation is, but you're just stuck in, if this is career, because I am getting a little bit of a career vibe here, you're very stuck in your head about um, starting something new, something that you're passionate about. Now, if this has anything to do with love, you know, you wanted a new beginning when it came to passion, and, and you, it really overwhelmed your thoughts here. You really wanted this, yeah, and you were trying to have patience here. You wanted patience because this was a wish fulfillment, okay? Nine of Cups here, a wish fulfillment. 
Has someone here walked away in the past when it came to a firm foundation, when it came to family, legacy, um, you know, long-term, you know, it could have been a long-term relationship. They're weighing heavily on your mind like a new start, a new passionate start. So what is the ace of wands? Yeah, someone here was definitely sad, okay? And then there was healing, you know, or prayer, or wish. Something here about a new passionate beginning made someone very angry and sad, okay? And, uh... What's the star here? Because there was some kind of healing here. Yeah, there was some kind of... There was something that was weighing you down, water signs. It really was, but you were wanting to push forward. Okay, this is, um, you know, something resurfacing, something coming back around. This is a second chance, okay? But yeah, someone here was being sneaky, deceptive. Um, they were lying. They wasn't telling the truth. Yeah, a very um, toxic here situation. And it, you know, could have been with an earth sign, Virgo, towards Capricorn. But the second chance for coming back around it was, a, you know, it was a challenge. It was a lot that you did it. What is this judgment? Someone could have been trying to heal over some kind of judgment here, over some kind of uh, major change. But there's definitely healing here, moving forward. Okay, so you have the King of Swords. So this is someone you know, very analytical. They think with their mind, not their heart so much. Um, you know, someone you know, that knows what they want, exactly what they want. Um, someone you could have had unfinished business with, yeah, because I do see them, and we are in Mercury retrograde, um, but I feel like this could have started before. I feel like there was a new beginning here, and I do feel like someone was salty about it, okay? But there was definitely some healing here in the past. Someone was definitely in their head about a new beginning and passion, about healing. Um, they were sad and they wanted to move forward and they needed, they wanted a second chance. And I, I believe they came forth and they were very adamant about what it is that they want. The King of Swords knows what it is that they want. And um, they're very blunt and and speaking that and, and letting that known, very stern. Yeah, someone here was left out in the cold. Someone here was abandoned. They definitely were. It could have been you, water signs, or you could have done this to someone. Someone was definitely abandoned here. So in the present moment, we have the Five of Pentacles. Okay, so someone feeling left out. Um, yeah, we have the Empress at the bottom of the deck. So this is um, someone very beautiful. Yeah, it could be family here. Someone very beautiful. Someone you've seen as, or they see seen you as their wish fulfillment. This is a new beginning. Um, being, and also the, the Empress is very creative too. Um, they're creative. I mean, that's what they do. They create. They create life. They create things. Um, and they, you know, they use their skills. They embody all queens. Yeah, and this is a wish fulfillment. Something here is a wish for, this empress is a wish fulfillment. This new beginning is a wish fulfillment. But tell me, what is this five of pentacles in the present? Okay, so a new beginning here. A leap of faith. So someone's feeling the loss Okay, something needs to be made fair. I'm getting this with every element here. Moving forward, starting from zero. So someone here in the present moment, 
is wanting to take a leap of faith. Okay, they feel I left out. What is the full? Yeah, someone's manifesting a new beginning here. Someone's manifesting a new beginning. They're taking a leap of faith after probably being, um, feeling, you know, abandoned or lack. Yeah, got the emperor at the bottom of the deck. Can be dealing with um, a father figure here or someone, a business owner, someone here that just... Um, it's very stern, like we have the Queen of Wands. Definitely could be dealing with a fire sign here. Um, if this is a female, they're in their masculine energy. But, you know, we just seen the Empress. So, you know, where there's an Empress, there's an Empress, Empress, vice versa. That's that power couple here. Um, someone could just be moving really slow. What is the mission here? So someone's manifesting a new beginning and they're feeling left out in regards to a new beginning here. The page of wands. So something exciting coming in in the present moment. There could be some like um, good news definitely coming in. Um, there's definitely been some heartache here. You've planted seeds, you're, you're wanting, you're waiting for them to grow. It's been exhausting. Okay, you're wanting to move forward and work with someone. Someone could be closed off at this time and, you know, uh, working with you here. What is this news coming in in the present moment? What is this page of wands? Yeah, there's a tower. There's communication coming in. And it's, uh, it can be sudden here. Um, you know, the tower is, to me, I'm looking at this tower as possibly a good news here. Yeah, about moving forward. Moving forward away from chaos, conflict, drama, gossip, things like that, game playing. Um, there's definitely a message in the present moment um, about moving forward. You know, no longer entertaining um, games no longer you know just you know wherever you've been is not where you want to go back you're going to move forward so I do see that happening for you water signs in the uh, in the present moment yeah so you're looking out you gain some kind of truth when it comes to a past situation past person here you have a lot of nostalgia good memories with someone um, and so you're looking out for your ships to come in. You're planning for the future. And this is someone that, you know, you, you have history with. This is someone you or you view as a soulmate. And you've gotten clear on that. You've gotten completely clear on that. So definitely some good news coming in or this is your person. And I think this is, at, you know, at a time where you felt neglected or left out or abandoned or in the dark or whatever. So, in the near future, we have the Knight of Wands. What is this about? Just pushing forward with excitement. Yeah. Yeah. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. That is your energy. That's someone very loving, very caring. Um, very in tune with their emotions. Very in tune with their emotions. It could be a child involved, even. But they're very... Or even three, three people, no one child. I'm seeing two here. There could be two people in the distance, maybe. I don't know, I'm, I'm getting admiration here. Anyway, um, I don't know what's the cutest thing. Let's see those two little fairies by there. So, um, could be your angel guides. But you're moving forward to a, an equal give and take here. Again, you know, I feel like someone is watching. They're, they're watching, they're observing, they're gaining knowledge here. Um, whatever they're learning, though, or whatever they're seeing, I think they, they enjoy it. So this is moving forward to someone very intuitive, even psychic. Um, you know, having that passion, that drive, 
you know, to push forward to, you know, this is someone, you know, coming to you, water signs, or you're doing this to someone because you've gained truth, you've gained clarity. We've seen that twice about, you know, working with someone. Oh my gosh, definitely. Working with someone, um, you know, being together with someone and having a new beginning when it comes to love. Absolutely. And then right after that, you have the Three of Wands again. So the Three of Wands looking out towards the future. Absolutely. Look, looking at the star, the star healing. Some of you can have Aquarius in your chart. But that crow is looking right at the star. So there was some kind of lack, loss, and disappointment. There was some, some kind of grieving and sadness here. But there's clarity about love here, a new beginning in love, most definitely. So, what is the Page of Swords? Page of Swords, someone can be spying on you, you could be spying on someone, yeah, you could be on a break with someone and they're keeping their tabs on you. Yeah, someone could feel betrayal, there could have been an ending, there could be in the future. But someone's like, you know, someone that you've had an ending with is still keeping uh, check on you. You know, driving past your, your house or what have you. Um, yeah, it's someone that you had, you know, that's needing strength. Here, courage, taming the beast type thing. Um, you know, someone you could have given an offer to and they rejected it or you rejected them. And so, um, but I still see them keeping tabs on you here. Yeah, but I feel like you're going to go for what it is that you want. You're definitely going to go for it here. Tell me more about this Four of Cups and this Page of Pentacles. Yeah, you're going after some someone or someone's going after you. Um, this is, you know, very passionate optimism. Yeah, this is something that you've possibly put some time, effort into, you've been waiting, or someone's been waiting on you, yeah, just to move forward, okay, take charge, move forward, and work together, yeah, come together, come together, someone, what is this strength for, what do you need, in the, in the, in the future position, you're, you're going to need strength, Yeah, because something here is going to cause you some kind of worry or anxiety. Yeah. Could be the fact that someone here in the near future, um, you know, they don't want any more wishy-washy energy, okay? Because the Knight of Wands can be someone that's kind of flighty. Um, they only come in for the passion, okay, when they want passion and then... Uh, then they're out. So it could be that you're walking away from this energy or someone where you, if you're in this energy water sign, someone could be walking away from you. They could be realizing that, you know, you're not really in, in it for the right reason and they could actually be turning you down, okay? Um, because they want an equal give and take here in a relationship, okay? So, water signs, continue on your healing, okay? And, um, you know, the, I do see you, you going places, you, yeah. You may have to leave a person, place, or thing behind. Um, but I feel like there's new here. There's a new beginning in emotions. There's a new beginning here in clarity, absolutely. And uh, collaborations and working with others. Um, and really deciding what it is that you want. I don't think you're going to be taking any any offers that seem uh, flighty or entertaining anybody that seems um, like they're only, as far as relationships goes, um, like they're only in it for, for the passion. I do see that as someone walking away from that. So anyway, that's what I have for your water signs, and I will see you later. Bye.